All right, today we're going to be talking about uh, software I use a lot. Um, it's pretty good for what it does. Uh, it could have a little bit more features in my opinion, but um, it's uh, Clonezilla and it's used basically to clone hard drives and uh, restore hard drives. Migration. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to boot to the Clonezilla CD that you download and um, you're going to, what I did at least, was attach uh, a USB 500 gigabyte drive. You can SSH it to somewhere. You can do a lot of different, there's a lot of different options for where to store it to, but I just attached a 500 gigabyte USB drive and cloned the disk to that 500 gigabyte USB drive. And then I put it on my system here and then I created an ISO image using image burn. Um, I basically took all the files um, and I uh, create image file from files and folders and then that's what you need to do to get to this point which I'll be showing you. Drives. Um, essentially what we're going to cover right now is I have an image of a physical machine that we're going to virtualize in VirtualBox. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Um, Essentially, I just have a, a virtual machine right now that I created, and I added, uh, I'm going to remove this, um, I added two uh, CDs under IDE controller, and I'm going to add a serial ATA controller, and make note that I my IDE controller um, was my hard disk on my, on my uh, physical machine, but it Clonezilla will automatically convert it, should automatically convert it to a serial uh, ATA controller. We're going to create a new disk and we're going to do fixed size. I haven't ever tried it with dynamically expanding, but I think fixed size would make more sense. So, and we're, oops, we are going to call this just Clonezilla. And we're going to make this 30 gigs. And I'm going to speed this up while it, or at least skip over it while it creates that. Disk. All right, now that we have our hard drive, um, we are going to make sure that everything else is set up correctly. This is my Clonezilla image. Make sure that it's secondary master. And then we're going to add my Clonezilla disk. and. This is right here. You can select it from choose. This is not even the latest version. There's actually a later version, so you might want to download that. And make sure it's primary master and everything else should be good to go. We might have to change this to uh, primary slave. Um, I can't remember how I had that working, but let's go ahead and test this first. We're going to go ahead and start this up. We're going to hope that it, there we go, boom. And we're going to go ahead and just load the default. And while it's booting up, I will English key map. We're going to enter the shell and by default just to enter again and we're going to go into root and what we're going to do is we're going to mount the uh, ISO image that we have attached to home part image or part, part IMAG I think um, so first we need to find out which one that is so alright I thought that showed under, up under FDIS that may not be it but because it's just showing our serial device so I went into slash dev and I'm going to assume it's either CD-ROM or CD-ROM run. We are going to test that by mount uh, device CD-ROM 1 home part image. Oh good, look at that. Mounting volume 2010, 12, 6, 21, 12, 16, 21. So we know that that uh, CD-ROM actually was in there, and I guess it must not show up in FDisk, I'm assuming. Um, so now we can go here and we'll see our image right there. So what we need to do to start that up again is OCS Live, 
and then it's asking us where the clonezilla image will be saved to or read from and then we're going to go down to skip use existing home part image since we had mounted as it says read only device egcd so we're going to hit ok and enter to continue we're just going to do beginner mode and we're going to restore an image to a local disk And there's our image right there. You'll notice it says at the end HDA, which means it was uh, um, an IDE, and it's going to be changed automatically to a serial ATA. If you have multiple hard drives, I made this mistake once. I had an HDA and HDB hard drive. Uh, one was 20 gig and the other was 50 gig. And I then tried to restore them to two VirtualBox SDA and SDB drives, and it did not like that period. So that was an experience that uh, was unfortunate. And it's going to go on this disk drive. And then it's just saying warning, warning, and we're going to overwrite all of it. And this will take a while depending on how much information. This is like 7 gigs of total space, so it's not that large, but um, as you can see it's going through and we should be able to boot and it should work fine. Um, uh, as I said before, restoring from a, m a multiple disk image to multiple disks of um, from an HDA to an SDA or so on and so forth, IDE to SATA, it doesn't seem to convert that. Uh, it seems to be able to convert one drive but not two. They have a command that can be used to convert it, uh, OCS, dev, um, something other. But that means it can't do it if it's read-only, so you have to pretty much copy it several times and then do um, do the conversion. And then even after I would converted it, it refused to uh, restore. So that's one thing you have to be aware of. Anyway, I'm going to speed this up. Um, well, actually, I'm just going to skip over it. And uh, we'll make sure it restores correctly. All right, and as you can see, it's finished copying over. Clone successfully, uh, 5.7 in one minute, average speed. And everything else looks good. So it's um, resizing the partition for SDA1. And after a little bit of checking, um, it's all done. So now we're going to reboot the machine. And it should, probably should remove that disk and then reset it again. And this time it should boot to our Linux. And there we go. Um, I'm at the logon and uh, I'll log on with the root. There we go. Everything's up and working. I can uh, use it just like it was. And that's how you restore a Clonezilla ISO image um, to a virtual machine.